can you tell me the relations of the internal thoracic artery yes ma'am the internal thoracic artery ma'am it arises from the inferior part of the subclavian artery then it goes behind the uh, sternal end of the clavicle then it goes behind the uh, first costal cartilage similarly it goes it runs vertically down up till the sixth intercostal space where it divides into its branches that is the superior epigastric artery and the musculophrenic artery so um, in this place uh, that is uh, in this place uh, you see it is uh, above the first costal cartilage it is going to be medial and behind the internal jugular vein and the brachiocephalic vein and also uh, the phrenic nerve so it is going to have this type of relation it runs downwards forwards and medially behind the internal jugular vein brachiocephalic vein phrenic nerve okay and then what this bottom part whatever is there so let's talk about the bo bottom part here this part below the first costal cartilage here anteriorly what now will be there the costal cartilage obviously and in front of that what will be there the pectoralis muscle will be there here then what else will you have people yes you will have the internal intercostal muscles external intercostal membranes okay here they are not using muscles they saying external intercostal membranes internal intercostal muscles and then you will have the intercostal nerves right so it will be in relation with that okay got it now posteriorly what will be there think inside the thorax what will be there lungs obviously so uh, in the behind of this artery you will have the fascia endothoracic fascia and then the pleura okay uh in the bottom part what they are saying is between this artery and the pleura you have a sternocostalis muscle also okay so let me show that to you so look at this so this red is our interthoracic muscle uh, inter internal thoracic artery right this one this red one right so here what do you have sternum right so this is anterior right so this is going to be posterior so here you have the lungs right lungs have pleura so between this artery and the lungs you have this muscle which is this muscle sternocostalis muscle okay so these are the relations of the internal thoracic artery it's very easy okay just think somebody says uh, Uh, internal thoracic artery no so what you do you imagine this human being here his thorax is here so his thorax inside it there is one artery so internal thoracic artery like that you can remember and it goes down like this so as soon as you think of this image you'll be able to write all the relations bye bye